Okay, here's a video. It's probably going to be a little bit repetitive. And it's about um, just making a graph. And what we're going to do is uh, let's go to the uh, get some uh, merchant uh, plant uh, prices. So if I go to, these are all the prices I collect from different places. I'm trying to make them more, um, uh, more uh, uh, automatic, really. Okay, so if I go to this one, it's an enormous file, and it has uh, the merchant electricity. Now, finally, let me tell you what we're going to do. We're going to make graph. This is just going to be a graph video. And instead of presenting just hourly data, we'll present moving average data that shows both the detailed hour by hour and then the slower kind of moving average of the hour by hour, both on the same graph. And the way to do that, notice it's coming up for a long time. So uh, if we go to the hourly uh, analysis, we have the, we have the uh, electricity and the gas, we have the year, we have the end of the month. And if I want to um, graph, let's just graph the uh, electricity. If I press shift control down, and then press shift F8 and then we press shift control up and then press F11 that's shift F8 to just do your what you might normally do with the control key and <laughs> okay uh, I should have uh, excuse me I should have uh, started here shift control down shift F8, shift control up, and then just let's press this one. Now, here's what a couple of things we're going to do. Instead of just making this graph go up and down, I might want to show uh, the average for the, for the uh, period, and I might want to exclude these really large ones. So in the middle of this, and we have some negative prices, which is fine. You can have those. That's what we're going to do. We're going to use the sum if and the lookup to do it. It's going to be pretty simple when you see it. But we'll do a little more. Now, I have to make my normal thing. This is a free video. So I get to advertise a tiny little bit. If you want help, I offer these Skype uh, uh, phone calls. If you want classes, uh, we have this uh, 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 very reasonably priced uh, thing and the problem is about three people watch these damn videos so I guess I'll never be able to make a decent business out of it okay it's been a disaster so far so now what uh, let, let's say we want uh, the, uh, this by quarter no let's do it by month now the first thing I did was just put equal EO month and just put zero so get, have the same end of the month here now once you have the end of the month let's start here and if we have if we go from 2015 to uh, 1998 uh, so we'll have uh, we'll have 17 times times 12 that's how many months we'll have about 204 so the first thing we could do is put all TIS and then we put columns and go to uh, t was that 205 I hope one you have to have a one in there first all TIS enter whoops all TIS enter columns uh, 205 enter okay and then we can start with our very first one. It's always the end of the month. You have to do this, and this time to EO month. And 
just increment that by one. Now, if you want to do end of quarter, um, you can do, uh, you have to write, I'd write a function. You can do end of the week. So this goes to April. Okay. Uh, we can add one. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, you notice this is taking a long time to do. Okay, so we'll show you something else. I've showed you this in another video, but very few people watch all the videos. This ridiculous, it's being ridiculously slow. Now, if you want to only, uh, uh, if you only want to uh, uh, do this for, I say, uh, too much, if you only want to do this for a particular range, go to developer, macros, and it looks like we already have a macro. Let's edit this. And let's up here put sub calc range. And it's such a simple macro, but it's so useful. And range uh, selection dot Rain dot calculate. Okay, it just is one. It's is that simple or what? No, or uh, no. Range dot. Uh, I think we better excuse me. Maybe it's not as simple as as we have. Okay. Um, how about we'll put range name equals selection dot address. And then we put uh, uh, range name dot calculate. OK. Now, when you do this, you better assign it to a range name. I'm going to put. Shift Control S because I use Shift Control C so so much. So huh, so let's go to our macros and go to uh, calculate range and press Option and press Shift S. So and then you uh, cancel. Then then we'll go to the formulas calculation options make it to manual so if i wanted to do the same thing we just did i'd select this shift control s and if you don't believe it happens let's just uh, press control d it gives you the same thing shift control s just calculates it okay so uh, i don't know when i start so the next thing let's do is then let's just do an average if and that's the now i've done this so often that you must be kind of sick of it but i think it's just so effective because i never used to do it you just take the whole column then take one single line and then let's take this uh, uh, line and perhaps in a minute we want to do this with gas prices too Shift Control S uh, uh, calculates it now. Uh, okay, it took a, a minute more. Shift Control One. Now, if we want to right here, put the monthly average. Okay. Now, why is this uh, taking so long? I think I, I I thought I put it on. Okay. Well, whatever. So, month. Uh, average all we have to do is put equal lookup now the reason the lookup works here is because it's it, the dates are in order so we'll take this date and look up against the whole date here and then the whole date here okay and then and then we double click and when we have it on manual, even though it uh, is always the same, it gives us the same uh, price. And then we press Shift Control down, Shift Control S. 
and it takes a minute, but it will uh, calculate much faster. And then we'll uh, and then we'll make a uh, a graph. And I think after we're making this graph, after we've made this graph, uh, uh, which we'll do, remember, with Shift Control S, and it's taking too long. So you know what I'm going to do? Pause. Now, as usual, I did something stupid, um, but the uh, we, we, all we needed was this for the calculate range. Okay, we didn't need that stupid thing that I did. Okay, now if you now let's make another graph. Okay, and let's why don't we put it, this up here? Now, why is this taking so long just to move a, a cell? Okay. I've got an enormous file here, and I think it's because of the the video. Okay, so we're gonna let's we're gonna graph these two. So let's do this one. Uh, Shift F8, and then how about we press these two? Shift Control up, and then we'll press the F11 button. Okay. And now we have two uh, graphs. Let's change the chart type and just make it a, a line chart. Uh, and when we make it a line chart, we'll uh, let's put this one on the uh, second line. Let's make, maybe we'll make this as a secondary axis. And then we can kind of see really what's happening with the prices much, much more. Okay. Now, uh, I think I think that's kind of enough of this graph. Just to let you know what we'll do on the next one, it might be the case that you want this 18.4 to start at 18.4 and gradually go up uh, to... 24.3 and that would require an interpolate uh, function together with the uh, uh, together with the date and for some reason Excel doesn't have such a function I think it would be a highly useful function and we wouldn't always have sudden moves from one to the other to the other because clearly if you yeah, oops, oh, shit, I didn't mean to go all the way down. Okay, but, you know, in, instead of this being kind of a step graph, then we'll, we'll have a, uh, a gradual graph. I, I didn't, e alt -E -L. I just wanted to show you the alt -E -L. Okay, so this uh, uh, showed you a little bit of how to quickly do this. Now, if one more thing, if you want to find out where the files are, you go to the... Uh, 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 oops, you go to the website, my website, and these these uh, files will be under the analysis of electricity spot prices and merchant plots. I think I even have kind of the graph we looked at here, and hopefully it should have merchant, uh, hub merchant analysis. I think that's the 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 one we were using okay and you can find other electricity files in in that uh, in that area okay and i'm going to stop this uh, video